Welcome from the Mixi Oppo A15 and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of this device. And when you boot it up for the first time, what you want to do is start off by selecting your desired language, which for me it's going to be obviously English. From there let's tap on next and select our region. So I'll just select whatever here and this will take me to the terms of service. Now only the first one is re well, required to be selected, so the user agreement. So all you need to do is check this box. You can also tap on the blue text user agreement to read what you're actually agreeing to. And from there, once it's selected, you can tap on next to go to the next page where you can connect to your Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have any kind of Wi-Fi near you, that's completely fine. You can skip this if you uh, if you don't have it and then if you do want to connect later on, you can just do it through settings. Now, no matter if you skip it or connect to it, it does give you this option right here for Wi-Fi Assistant, meaning that uh, if you have more than one Wi-Fi accessible that it can connect to, it will, or maybe not that it can connect to, that you have already connected to, to, so the password is already on your phone and you can just quickly switch between them. I can check this on and the phone itself will pick whichever one is better, uh, faster connection or stronger and just choose that one instead. And then once you enable this, it also gives you the auto switch to mobile network, uh, meaning that if well, however many Wi-Fi networks around you are just utter garbage, uh, the phone will automatically switch to mobile network instead. Now, uh, this is a completely fine option for people that have a decent data plan, so uh, several gigabytes of, uh, of data that they can use on a monthly basis. Uh, but for people that are just like using for instance two gigabytes i probably would discourage you from enabling that because personally i am not exactly sure how often it will switch between those and uh, it might just use up more of your mobile network uh, at times that you might not want to and you might be left off without any kind of uh, network uh, gigabytes at the end of the month so let's stop on next and this will take us to Google services. So from here we have things like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can read exactly what these do by tapping in the narrow. And at the end of the day, if you don't like them, disable them like so. And then scroll down, tap on accept. And this takes us to the next page where we can set up a screen lock. So you can either set, well, set it up by tapping on settings or set later, which will just skip setting it up. Now I will choose one, so I'm gonna go to settings. And by default, it enters a, or defaults to a pin, which I don't really want. It's gonna select a different method. And this gives me a couple different options. So we have pin, uh, four digit, uh, not password, but pin, um, a four to 16 pin, an actual al alphabetical password and a pattern, which I just kind of, which is what I'm gonna choose. So once you choose your method, you will then put that method in so for me it's a pattern so I need to draw it but if you want with a pen just put the numbers that you want to use and then repeat them to confirm it now it automatically goes into face ID uh, if you don't want it you can simply skip it right here if you do then tap on continue and uh, just f scan your face basically and also it defaults into a fingerprint now again I don't really want to add it so I'm gonna tap on cancel we have then recommended, so we have up, auto update overnight and home screen icons. Now, auto update overnight is just an option for updating your phone and then home screen icons is just a style of icons that you will see. So you can choose whichever one uh, you want from these. There is three preset ones or preloaded ones, so you can choose which one you want. And from there, tap on apply. And let's go to the next page. Uh, we have now import data option. So this is uh, their uh, their application that you will need or not need to but you can use if you have an old device that you want to move data from to this one then you can tap on import data from old phone it will tell you that you need to download their application which is uh, here uh, clone phone exactly so what you would do is simply look for this application in play store uh, if you're using an apple device it already comes installed on there so you just need to find it in your apps but if you are using something else, a different brand device, then just download it from Play Store. Now I'll set it up as new, so selecting later. And from here, get started. And this will take me to the home screen. 
and there we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.